carboxylic acids. Carboxylic acids contain the carboxyl group. This is the general structure for the carboxyl group, but it can also be represented as COOH or CO2H. Let's take a look into the nomenclature of some common carboxylic acids. We'll find the IUPAC name and as well as the common name for these compounds. For the IUPAC name, the carboxylic acids need to end with oic acid. So now if there is going to be one carbon, then definitely it has to be derived from methane. And then here is the carboxylic acid group. Here is the carboxyl group and therefore this should be methane plus oic acid. Therefore it should be methanoic acid. Let's take a look into the next one. Here we do have two carbons and here is our carboxylic acid group and therefore this should be ethanoic acid since you have two carbons there. On the third one we have three carbons and therefore this is going to be propanoic acid. And all of these names are IUPAC names or systematic names. On the fourth one, you have a total of four carbons, one, two, three, four. So it's going to be butanoic acid. One thing that you have to keep in mind is the number, like when you wanted to give the numbering for these uh, carboxylic acid, this carbon at the carboxylic acid is going to be one. But in this case, you don't have to give the numbering since we do not have any substitution on the carbons. And let's take a look into the next set of compounds. Here, there are totally five carbons. One, two, three, four, five. So therefore, this should be pentanoic acid. And this one should be hexanoic acid. And this one right here is going to be propenoic acid because you do have a double bond, right? So when you consider uh, a double bond, consider having a double bond and a carboxylic acid, we needed to definitely look into the priority chart. You do not know the priorities of the different functional groups. Obviously, the carboxylic acid is going to get higher priority, which means the numbering should go in this direction. So this compound right here is propenoic acid because you do have a double bond. Okay, you cannot write it as propanoic acid because propanoic acid is going to signify compounds which doesn't have any, uh, any unsaturation. But here you do have unsaturation, so it should be propanoic acid. Propanoic acid. Now let's also do the common names. Common names, obviously, you have to memorize. So this one right here is formic acid. This is acidic acid. This is propionoic acid and this is butyric acid. This is valeric acid. This is caproic acid. And this one is acrylic acid. And obviously, all of these common names need to be memorized. There is no uh, like the systematic name, we cannot identify it. Like we have to memorize it. This is how I will remember when it comes to memorizing valeric acid and caproic acid. I don't know whether it's going to work for you. But uh, if you take a look into pentanoic acid, there are totally five carbons. So phi, the Roman letter for five is V, right? So it's going to be valeric acid. And for hexanoic acid, there are totally six carbons. When you wanted to write six, you have to first put C, right? So then it counts for the... Uh, you can account for the caproic acid. Now, when you have substitution across any of these carbons, then we have to definitely give the numbering, right? In the case of systematic nomenclature, this carbon right here is going to be number one, and you're going to start numbering from right to left here, right? But in the case of common nomenclature, we are going to use alpha, beta, gamma. So this carbon is going to be our alpha carbon, this carbon where the functional group is attached. So basically this is our functional group and therefore this is going to be beta, gamma, delta and epsilon and so on. Now let's take a look into some examples where we have a substituent present on a carboxylic acid. Now let's take a look into the first compound. The first compound uh, here is the functional group. This is a carboxylic acid functional group and apart from that you also have another group. 
this is a substituent okay the, which is basically a methoxy group and it's definitely an ether now between an ether and a carboxylic acid functional group which one is going to get higher priority obviously the carboxylic acid okay if you want you can look into the priority chart and obviously this is the one that's going to have higher priority and therefore uh, you're going to start giving number on this first carbon right and you're going to find the longest chain in the molecule so the longest chain is in this direction since you have totally four carbons in this carboxylic acid we need to write the parent name to be butanoic acid right so this is going to be butanoic acid when it comes to we are talking about the IUPAC name right so the parent name is going to be butanoic acid and leaving that butanoic acid you also have a substituent which is a methoxy group which is uh, present on the second position so the complete IUPAC name for this molecule is 2-methoxybutanoic acid, right? Make sure that you leave a space between the number and the alphabet. Now, when it comes to common name, we are going to use the Greek letters for the uh, place where it has been substituted. This methoxy group is present in the alpha position because when you consider this is the functional group, the next position that is is the alpha, right? Alpha position. So you're going to write this as alpha methoxy and you're not going to use butanoic acid. Instead, you're going to use butyric acid. Okay, let's go ahead and do the next one. So here again, we have carboxylic acid, but this time we have uh, bromine as a substituent. Again, this carbon right here is going to be number one two three four five that would be the longest chain the longest chain has got a total of five carbons therefore this is going to be pentanoic acid and on pentanoic acid is present a bromine at third position so this is going to be three bromo pentanoic acid and if you want to write the common name for this it's going to be beta bromo because this position is alpha and this one is beta so beta bromo Remember, for five carbons, it's going to be valeric, right? So valeric acid. Let's go on to the next problem. So here we have, again, carboxylic acid as the functional group, right? And if you want to number this, so this carbon is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So six carbons, therefore, it's going to be hexanoic acid. And on hexanoic acid is present uh, a chlorine at fourth position. So it's going to be four chloro. And make sure that you do not leave any space between them. And when it comes to the common name, this position is alpha, beta, and this is gamma, right? So it's going to be gamma, chloro. And since you have totally six carbons here, it's going to be caproic acid. Let's do some examples where we have the carboxylic acid directly attached to the ring structure. So in that case, what we are going to do is we are going to add the name carboxylic acid to the name of the actual compound. Okay, so let's take a look into this. So this is cyclohexane. This part right here is cyclohexane and this is carboxylic acid group. So it's going to be cyclohexane carboxylic acid. Let's go on to the next one. Um, this is benzene. The structure right here is benzene. Right? And this one is carboxylic acid, so it's going to be benzene carboxylic acid. So all of these are IUPAC names. And this one, for this one, you do have two carboxylic acid groups, right? Carboxylic functional groups, right? In which case, you're going to assign one of those as number one. And you have to reach the second substituent with the lowest possible number, and that's going to be two. So... As such, if you're going to take this compound right here, it's going to be benzene, and then you have two carboxylic acids, so it should be benzene dicarboxylic acid. And then you also need to give the position of the two carboxylic acid groups, right? Because it can be 1, 2 position or 1, 3 position or 1, 4 position, right? So you need to make sure that you put the 1, 2 in the front, followed by an hyphen. So these are the IUPAC names for these compounds. The common name for benzene carboxylic acid is benzoic acid. And one to benzene dicarboxylic acid is called as thalic acid.